Hello leaders, this is Captain Marshall McLeod from the U.S. Army Physical Fitness School and today we will be giving you a block of instructions on the ACFT lane setup. Here at the schoolhouse we use the 3-4-5 method to gather our right angle. Equipment needed for this setup is three tape measures, three weights, 22 air cones, and eight dome cones. Step 1. The first person, also known as the baseband, will position themselves where the corner of the ACFT will be. Step 2. The second and third person, while each holding a tape measure, will hand the start point of both tape measures to the baseman. Step 3. The baseman will intersect both start points of the tape measures given to him and place the first weight on both, ensuring the weight is on the intersecting starting marks on both tape measures. Step 4. The second person will run the tape measure out 12 meters and pull the tape measure tight, this being the start line, and then drop cones every 3 meters, ensuring that the cones are aligned on the same side of the tape measure. Step 5. The third person will run his tape measure out 25 meters perpendicular to the first tape measure, this being the 25 meter boundary line of the ACFT. The third person does not have to pull his tight yet due to it having to move after further steps. This person will stay here where he is. Step 6. The baseman will intersect the start of the third tape measure with the 3 meter mark of the start line and place a weight down to hold both in place. Step 7. The baseman will run the third tape measure to the second tape measure and intersect the 5 meter mark of the third tape measure and the 4 meter mark of the second tape measure. He will pinch both at the intersecting points. Pull both tight. Once tight, he will place a weight on both tape measures. Step 8. Once tight, the third person will pull the 25 meter mark and align the mark with both weights. Step 9. Once aligned, the second person will drop cones along the second tape measure every 5 meters. Step 10. Gather all weights and tape measures. Step 11. The second person will place the start of the first tape measure on the 12 meter cone of the start line already marked and place a weight on that mark to hold it in place. Step 12. Once held in place, the second person will run the tape measure down 25 meters and give it to the baseman. Step 13. The third person will place the start of the second tape measure on the 25 meter cone of the 25 meter boundary line already marked and place a weight on the mark to hold it in place. Step 14. Once held in place, the third person will run the second tape measure down 12 meters and give it to the baseman. Step 15. The baseman will intersect the 25 meter mark of the first tape measure and the 12 meter mark of the second tape measure and pull both tight. Step 16. Once tight, the second person will drop cones every 5 meters along the first tape measure and the third person will drop cones every 3 meters along the second tape measure. Step 17. This is an easy one. Gather all weights and tape measures. Step 18. All three soldiers will put the start of their tape measures on the 3, 6, and 9 meter lines respectively and place their weight on the mark to hold it in place. Step 19. They will each run down 25 meters to the same meter mark on the end of the line and pull it tight. Step 20. Once tight, the 3 meter and 9 meter mark persons will mark the standards of the standing power throw with dome cones while the 6 meter mark person will mark every 5 meters along the tape measure. This is to show delineation between the lanes and outside margins of the ACFT field setup. Yes, there are only 20 steps here. 